Hello, I am Bernard Dan, Editor-in-Chief of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology. Today, I am having a conversation with Quinn Conklin, following an editorial I wrote on mindfulness and rehabilitation. Quinn is a PhD student at UC Davis, where she studies the psychobiological effects of meditation. Hi, Quinn. Can you please tell me about your current research? Yes. So we studied participants of a one-month residential insight meditation retreat primarily looking at biomarkers of cellular health and longevity. I wonder what insight meditation is. Insight meditation is a branch of meditation stemming from the Theravadan Buddhist tradition, and it overlaps a lot with what we consider mindfulness meditation. So that is attending to sensations, including the breath, and drawing your attention into your own internal experience. When you say intensive, How intensive does it get? Roughly 10 hours of meditation alternating between periods of sitting meditation and walking meditation. But that's the primary focus of the retreat. You are interested in cellular health. What hypothesis did you have in mind? Our lab um, previously conducted a study looking at the enzyme telomerase. Telomeres are essentially the caps of your chromosomes that protect our DNA from cellular degradation. And those telomeres shorten incrementally over time, both with aging and with cellular stress. So telomerase is an enzyme that is responsible for maintaining and repairing those telomeres. In this previous study of ours, we looked at uh, levels of telomerase, the enzyme, and found that participants who had attended a three-month retreat had higher levels of telomerase. Our specific hypothesis going into this one-month retreat study was looking at levels of telomerase, again, expecting those to be higher in the participants who were on this meditation retreat. And we also looked at the length of the telomeres themselves. So you were hoping to find that any increase of telomerase would protect a chromosome. Exactly. And what have you been able to show? So we did actually find an increase in telomere length in the retreat participants. We did not, however, see the expected increase in telomerase. We are thinking that perhaps what we're seeing is an increase in telomere length, but that the increase in telomerase, because telomerase fluctuates more rapidly, within an hour even, that maybe we're missing the window there, that our measurements are perhaps too far apart to catch exactly what's happening with the enzyme, but that we're seeing this increase in telomere length instead. Do you have any insights into how this might work? To me, this is quite unexpected, that meditation would have a direct effect on an enzyme that controls the length of the DNA. How would this work? The leading hypothesis is that by training our minds and our responses to psychological stressors, we might also be alleviating some of the downstream physiological effects from those stressors. And so by changing the physiological outcome, we will also be changing the cellular milieu and the things that might also be degrading telomeres. So psychological ways of acting upon experienced stress, such as meditation, would have downstream effects on the biological consequences of stress. Is that how you see an effect on cellular health? There are a number of hypotheses and theories about essentially how we'll get from something that might be affecting our psychological processes to our cellular health. But one thing that I want to emphasize is that at this point, this particular study takes the retreat experience as a whole. So participants are going and living in a natural environment, and they're being fed a very healthy vegetarian diet at very regular intervals, and they're getting more sleep, perhaps, than they might in their normal lives. We do think meditation is one key component of this, but that there are other things that might also be at play in a retreat study. Do you know of any other way to interact with telomerase? There's a number of health-related behavioral things like smoking, exercise, BMI also relates to telomerase levels. So a lot of health factors. Do you know if an effect is seen in younger people than those who usually attend those retreats? I'm not 
terribly familiar with the literature in children. I know that there are a number of different studies and interventions that have been adapted for younger populations, but I am not terribly familiar with those outcomes. Okay. So there's certainly a lot that people around me and people around you could do together to move the field forward. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Quinn. Thank you.